Hi everyone, Julia here with Lois. Hi. Again, doing one of our simultaneous walk and talks on both my channel, Simplicity Revealed, and Lois's channel, Lois. Lois Gnosis, which will be tagged in the title and the description. You can find a link. So yeah, we're going to work to uh, just put out videos about what we observe day by day. Today is November 13th, 2023. It's a Monday. And man, can things change in a week? Yeah. <laughs> Last Monday, Lois was all excited about going to football. Blah, blah, blah. And now that's over. And so now she's all excited about dance. going to dance. But um, one of the <laughs> things we want to talk about today is just how teenagers... When they start going through their teenage years, it's a really, you know, challenging time. And in our culture today, we don't have any rites of passage for our children. And so they just become adults and they're like, okay, you're an adult now. Good luck out there. Here's the internet. You know, it's like, what? <laughs> and so these ages, you know, between like 11 and 14, 15, these kids are just lost. And so, and they have all these hormones raging and all these kinds of things. Their body's still growing. They have growing pains. And, you know, they, they, you know, just start lashing out at each other and being mean and seem to lack empathy. And one of the things Lois and I want to do is uh, show people her age. You know, she's 12. She'll be 13 in March. And our two new homeschool members, they'll be 13 in July of next year. And uh, we just want to set an example, Lois and this group, that when you're this age, you don't have to fall into the cultural norm of, oh, if somebody doesn't get something, you call them stupid, and you just start disrespecting, and, you know, instead, what should they do, Lois? I uh, just... Don't really call them that always before you're going to call a person that always, like, hold back and think about it. So, like... You feel about the person's feelings and how they're going to, like, affect from that in the future and all that. Right, and if you do say anything, you try to say something that might help them to where if they did the same thing in the future, you know, somebody might diss them. Well, you could maybe prevent that from being, you know, from happening. So, you know, empathy, empathy. And this is a time, you know... Empathy is one of those things. I don't know if we're born with it or if we develop it, but uh, this is a really good time to um, nourish our empathy during these early teen years. And usually the opposite happens in our cult of a culture. So, uh, yeah, just consideration for others. You know, and if you commit to something, you stick to that commitment, even if you don't feel like it or if something better comes along. You consider, well, I really want to do this, but I committed to that, so I'm going to do that first. Right, Lois? And we kind of had an example of that, right? Yeah. Do you want to share it? <laughs> Is it okay if I share it? Sure. So today, Lois wanted to cancel our walk because she's so excited about going to the dance. And she's like, well, I need all this time to get ready. And I was like, our walk's, you know, maybe a little over an hour. You don't need all day. You know, she's going later this afternoon. It's still morning here. So uh, she's like, oh, okay, I realize that. You know, and it's just typical, of course. That's the automatic response for someone her age because children are very egocentric. And as we become adults, and if we were living in tribes, Lois and these other preteens, they're all more adult than they are children at this point. And so, you know, they need to have someone mentor them on the skills they're going to need to be pleasant adults, not functioning for the society and working for billionaires. No, helpful, pleasant adults. You know, they find their passion. They find a way to pay their way with it, perhaps, or pay their way some way, you know, where they can enjoy their passion to the utmost and, you know, help when they can and move on from there and not just be all about keeping up with status and trying to, you know, do what everybody else is doing. So, yeah. These kids are going to set a new paradigm for teenagers. And uh, 
how they can go through those years very pleasantly and building a future for themselves. And another misnomer that people have, especially homeschool students, is they feel like, oh, they're not getting the same education as the kids in the schools. And oh my gosh, even if the homeschool parents just let their kids live and don't really do anything, they're probably coming out way better ahead. Now Lois and I, we follow the main curriculum and then we do our own thing too. But, you know, in fact, in Portugal, you have to have someone with a college education in your house to be eligible for homeschool. What does that tell you? It tells you that their education is so poor that they don't trust you to teach your own kids with just a high school education that they gave you. I mean, come on, it's ludicrous. So, yeah, anyone out there that's listening to this that's in homeschool and thinks that they're not getting as good an education as those kids in regular school, your education is far superior. I guarantee it. And then, anything else we want to talk about, Lois? Mm-hmm. You sure? Yep. So I had something else. But yeah, mostly just, you know, and follow through. If you say you're going to do something, then do it. Uh, consider others and uh, go on your journey, man. Every day is just learning opportunities and enjoyment opportunities. And we just have to start doing that more. You know, because uh, Lois and I were earlier just talking about You know, we have a classroom we can use. And I was like, yeah, classrooms are fine. Occasionally need them. But we don't need a classroom. This is our classroom. This planet. You know, all of this. This is our classroom. (laughs) And uh, we just moved to different parts of it. And we're always learning and growing. And uh, stay tuned to see, you know, how all these amazing beings, these young beings, develop over time. And Lois and I are just so excited. We got, you know, we're building up our little crew here and you know that's how things work in the universe you know you have put an intention out there Lois really wanted to manifest some other classmates right yeah and here I it. said I wanted to manifest twins <laughs> I literally said and what do you have twins. I mean it's just amazing so yeah and that's something we'll talk about probably in a future video is just manifesting and how that really does work so it's an amazing magical world we live in and we're happy to be here, right, Lois? Yep. All right, everyone. Thanks for listening. Hope you have a great morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. Remember to stay focused on what you want and help others if you can. Ciao, ciao.